Hi, in this video we're going to do a problem from a book by Fletcher and Patty. It's called uh, Foundations of Higher Mathematics. And this is a book that uh, people read and buy because they're trying to learn how to make the next step to go from like, you know, basic calculus to writing proofs. So it's a good book to learn to write proofs. And this one is by Fletcher and Patty. And I'll try to leave uh, a link in the description. In any case, this is a fairly simple problem. This is an induction problem. So we have to prove that if we have this matrix uh, with entries A1, 0, A, to the nth power, it's equal to this matrix here. And we have to prove that this is true for every natural number n. So by natural numbers here, I mean the numbers n equals 1, 2, 3, Four, etc. So we're excluding the number zero from the set of natural numbers. So whenever you're trying to prove a statement, and so let me just specify this is our statement, I'll call it S sub n, that is true for all natural numbers, um, you can use induction. So induction is a technique of proof that is used to prove that a statement about natural numbers is true. So this is our statement right here, I'm going to put it in a box. So you have to prove that S sub n is true for every natural number n. So proof. So I like to do my induction proofs in steps. The first step of every induction proof is called the base case. And this is where you have to prove that your statement is true for the smallest natural number in question. So in this case, the smallest one is one. Sometimes you'll do problems and they'll say stuff like n greater than or equal to four. In that case, you start at four, not the case here. So we have to show that S sub one is true. So basically we have to plug in a one here and just get equality. So if I put a one here where the N is, so on the left hand side, LHS left hand side, putting a one here for the N, you get A one zero A, super easy. There's a one here. And so this is A one zero A. So that's the left hand side of our statement. Now let's verify the right hand side. So I'm going to use RHS for right hand side. So RHS. So here we're going to put a one where all the n's are. Okay, so it's going to be a to the one, one times, and then a to the one minus one. So a to the one minus one, which is just a to the zero. You can skip steps, but it's a proof. So I'm trying to be a little bit more careful. So a to the one is a, okay, and then one minus one is zero, so you get a to the zero, which is one. So one times one is one, that's just one, zero and a. And look at that, pro. The left hand side is equal to this, the right hand side is equal to this, therefore the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, therefore our statement is true when n equals one. So I'll put a comma and say, so s sub one is true. And the base case is usually easy in problems like this. Um, not always, but most of the time, the base case is pretty simple. The next step in an induction proof uh, is the induction hypothesis. So induction, induction hypothesis. Okay, and this is where you assume that your statement is true for some natural number. So I'm just gonna write that down. So I'll say suppose that we have our statement being true, so S sub K, basically you just put a K where all the N's are. So you assume your statement is true for some K. So we have A1, zero A, and that's to the K. And we're assuming it's equal to this where we have K's everywhere. So it'll be A to the K, K times A to the K minus one, zero, and then here we have um, a to the k. And then for some, it's not for every positive integer, it's just for some uh, natural number. I said positive integer, same thing. Natural number k. Um, I mentioned at the beginning of the problem that sometimes you have stuff like n greater than or equal to four. In those specific proofs, this is really important, you'd want to specify that here. You would say like for some k greater than or equal to four because that's usually crucial and is usually like a key element in those proofs. 
In this proof, it doesn't matter. This is a very simple introductory proof with matrices, so no issue. All right, the next step is the induction step. So induction step. And in the induction step, you basically have to show that your statement is true when n is equal to k plus 1. So I always have this old saying, which I don't know if I made it up or I heard it somewhere, but it's hard to know where you're going if you don't know where you're going. So it's really important to write down what you're trying to do. So I'm going to write that down. We need to show NTS. It's really important that you write this down. Like if you're doing this for like a class in college or high school or whatever, and you write down what I'm about to write without writing we need to show, chances are you're going to get a big red X because this is what we're trying to prove. So we have to let the reader know that. So I'm going to put a K plus one everywhere I see an N. Okay, so I'll put one here. And then I'm going to put one here, here, and here, where, where all the ends are, okay? Yeah, you can still see. Good. This is a new camera setup for me. This is just basically me doing math. It's kind of fun. So this is a K plus 1. No, no technology, just a camera and a microphone or paper pencil. <laughs> that's, that's what it's about. And then uh, I got to focus here. I messed up. I was talking. You see what I did? So I put a K plus 1 here, K plus 1. This is n minus 1. When you put a k plus 1 there where the n is, you get k plus 1 minus 1. So you get k. And then here we have a to the k. So this is what we need to show. This is not part of the proof. This is just what we have to show. Okay. So now we're going to do it. So then, so I'm going to start by writing this down. We're going to do like a straight one line proof. a1, 0a, k plus 1. So we have to show that this is equal to this. So how do we do that? So you have to somehow involve this. We have to somehow use the induction hypothesis. So here we have a K and here we have a K plus one. So the natural thing to do is to try to involve this by writing this as follows. This is really A one zero A to the K times A one zero A to the one, right? That's really to the first power, right? And these are matrices. And so when you multiply them, it's just like multiplying, well, it's not just like multiplying numbers, but because the matrices are the same, you basically add the exponents, right? So K plus one, K plus one. So you have that property of exponents. It does work for matrices, right? So it does work, right? A times A is A squared if, you're, if they're both matrices. So here, this times this you add. So now look at this, this is magic. This piece here, is what we have here. So now I'm going to basically replace this with this because these are the same, you see? So I'm just gonna take this and replace it with this. So this is equal to, I'm gonna do it here. This is equal to, actually, I'll do it down here. I'll do it down here, I have room. I'm trying to fit it all on one page. So I'm gonna put this here. So this is gonna be a to the k, k, a to the k minus one, zero, a to the k, and then we have this one here, A one zero A. And this is key, this is the key step in the induction proof. This is by, I'll just say IH. This is the most important part in the entire problem right here. So if you're still watching this video, this is what it's about. So we use the induction hypothesis. You can never really do an induction proof without the induction hypothesis. That is the most critical step. So now we're just gonna do matrix multiplication. So I'm gonna come over here and do it here. So this is a two by two matrix, two rows, two columns. This is two rows, two columns. So to find the entry in the first row, first column, we use the first row, first column. So you do this times this. So A to the K times A, and then this times this, which is zero, so I'm not gonna write it. First row, second column, first row, second column. A to the K times A, plus this times this, so K, a to the k minus one a. Okay, again, for this one, it's this times this, and this times this, right? First row, first column, so you do this times this. So you're taking this one and this one for this piece. This times this is this. This times this is zero, I didn't write it. And for this one, it's first row, second column. So it's this times this, times this which is this, this times this, which is this. Here, let's do this one now. This is second row, first column. So zero times A is zero, and then zero times this is zero. So we're doing these and these. Zero, 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 zero. Finally, this one, it's gonna be second row, second column, second row, second column. 
0 times 1 is 0, and then a to the k times a. My pencil marks have really made it hard to see what's going on. My weak attempt at over-explaining. Okay, so now we can do some stuff here and clean this up. So let's see, these are exponents. We can add them, so this is going to be a to the k plus 1. Okay, here it's going to be a to the k plus 1. And this is going to be k, uh, k uh, times um, this. This is going to be a to the k, so plus k, a to the k. I feel like I, I've made uh, a small error somewhere. Um, I don't know if I have. Um, let's keep going. And then here we have 0, and then here we have uh, a to the k plus 1. Yeah, I feel like this is wrong. I feel like there's a mistake here. We should not have, uh, oh, I see what I did. This this is a 1. This is a 1 here. You see that? All right, that's a 1. That's a 1. Yeah, because I did I multiplied wrong. So it's this times this plus this times this. So that's just a to the k there, okay? Right, this times this is a to the k. This times this is that. Okay, so now this is equal to a to the k plus 1. Here you can pull out an a to the k. So this will be k plus 1. 0, a to the k plus 1. That's funny I messed up. I think I messed up because I was really trying to like over explain the multiplication and I just confused myself. So it's for this piece here, it's this times this, which gives you that, plus and then this times this, which gives you that. For some reason, I, I put the a to the k there. In any case, um, this is exactly what we had to show, right? It's over here. You see, this is this. So we've, we've shown it's the same. Let's see if you can see it. There we go. These are the same. So that means that uh, S sub K plus 1 is true. And so the induction proof is done. So you would just say something like by the principle of mathematical induction, you know, um, we are done. So our statement is true. So a, uh, a, 0, 1, a to the n is equal to a to the n, n, a to the n minus 1, 0, a to the n for all natural numbers n. For all natural numbers n. So not really a hard problem. And usually it's a proof, so you finish with like something. I put a box with an x. Um, I just kind of botched the matrix multiplication here, which is pretty bad, but at least I caught it and I fixed it. So I'll go ahead and post this and maybe someone can learn something like be careful with the matrix multiplication. But in any case, this is the structure for an induction proof. And just zoom out so you can see the whole proof here. This is what you get. And again, this is from a book called Foundations of Higher Mathematics by Fletcher and Patty. It's one of the examples in the book and this is my solution. I have not read um, their solution. So yeah. I hope this helps someone who is trying to learn some induction. Hopefully you made it this far and got past my terrible mistake. Good luck.